Good evening. Let's get right into it. I, uh, I want to try and get a lot done. I didn't get to do anything yesterday. I took my family to a ball game. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. We're just going to plow through where we left off. Try and catch up with some things. Try and get this river going. Try and figure out if Wormy's got any more quests, what he needs. So let me lean back here in the squeaky chair. Uh, all right, here we go. That bike a little bit. All right. Let's go back to the Green Guards. Oh my goodness, a baby has appeared. What are you doing in here, baby? The youngest has shown up. That's right, so we want a chicken. And they're going to clear more water or clear more land out. That looks like some... That's not dirty water, though, or dirty land. It's ninja run. Let's go see what Wormy here has got to say. Hello? Can I have that, Juliet? Can I have that, please? Thank you, oh my sweet girl. Yeah, by all means, play with the loud things in Daddy's office. Yes. Da, 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 da. Where's 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 your brother? Where's your brother? Go get him. Hurry. That was the littlest. Uh, Wrigley says, Oh, R. The soil here was right state before, but we all worked together to bring a splash of green to the island. <gasps> Thank you. She brought me gifts. You are so strong. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you're going you're gonna to take that too? Or are you going to play a song? I mean, Kitty keyboard. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, she dropped it on her feet. Oh, no. Come here. Come here. You are okay. You're okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. No. It's okay. Here. No, oh, it's my good girl. You're okay. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. You get in your chair? Okay. All right, and Lillian then goes on to say, Thank you both for all your hard work. I can't wait to swing beneath the trees in my very own forest. You'll make one for me, won't you, snail? Of course I'll make a swing for you, Lillian. Wrigley said, I can fill the old island with fields and forests with fancy, so long as you got the feed to feed me. We got a lot of catching up to do if we want to make this place as green as Furrowfield, though. So we better get cracking. You like this, Julie? Yeah. That's Wrigley. Oh. Now then, Snail. You might have finished with the meadows and forests, but the river ain't done yet. Go have a quick chat with Rosie and Lulu. See if they need a hand. Okay, Wrigley. I'm on my way. All these little trees springing up, and he still, he really wants, really, really wants a chicken. He wants a chicken, Julie. Do you want a chicken? Yeah. Well, there's not a chicken. That's Lulu and Rosie working on the river. I guess we could go while they're, while they're beating everything up, we could go find that chicken. Oh. Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, sit down, sit down. You're not supposed to stand up on that. There you go, good girl. What a good child you are. Not really. She's very maddening. We are ready for this to get knocked down. So we get some more in here. 
What are they shoring up here? Please bring, please bring back a chicken. Everybody's, everybody's hungry. I'm exhausted. Sorry, it's now no time to chin wag. The even grand won't build itself. I'm exhausted. Everybody wants a chicken, so everybody's just gonna stop working until I get a chicken. What? Well, I, I didn't know that. I needed a chicken for y'all. I'll be right back. We'll go get one right now. Let's get to the dock. Oh, I can't. Uh, can't warp off line. Let's get to the dock. Come on, get that chicken. All right, brown beard. Ahoy, snail. I've got good news for you. I was drinking me shanty and singing the grog when I spotted a couple of new islands nearby. New islands, asked Malroth. He must be talking about the explorer's shores. All right, fish lips. You're taking us to one of these islands right now. I'll gladly ferry ye over, but a sailor can't work for free. I'm a businessman, don't forget, says Captain Brownbeard. That said, we ain't got a piece of 88 between us. Tell you what, how's about you pay me with some of those shiny little hearts I've seen poking out your pockets? If you're willing to part with your hard-earned hearties, it'll cover the cost of the voyage, says Captain Brownbeard. And because I like the splice of your main brace, once you've paid the price, I'll take you back to the same island as many times as you like for no extra charge. I made a little log of all the things I could spy on each island, so if you've got your eyeballs set on something in particular, be sure to take a look before you set sail. If you need more materials or fancy some new items, then the Explorer's Shores are for you. You can use even use gratitude to unlock the new islands. Sorry, I'm doing something real quick here. There we go. All right. So, where is... Oh, you know what? We had a letter, didn't we? From Saffron. Saffron sent us a letter. Dear Snail, I trust you are enjoying life on the Isle of Awakening. How is my sister Lillian getting along? Well, right now, she's she's working on the meadow, and now she's helping with the river, but everybody's so hungry, I gotta go find chickens, because we're gonna eat them, or we're gonna let them lay eggs. I haven't decided. The refreshing breeze here on Furrowfield is perfect for cooling freshly baked loaves, though it does little to temper Clayton's newfound passion for building. He is ever the hothead. Do give my regards to everyone. Ever so sincerely yours, Saffron. Oh, that was nice. Nice of her to do that. So, let's see. Uh, to unlock New Islands. Where will you be hauling anchor today? Blossom Bay. Soggy Scary. That's where we are, Furrowfield. I'm sorry, that's Furrowfield. We don't need to go there. What's Blossom Bay? Soggy scary. Are you trying to swindle me, you Larry Lungfish? You ain't got the hardiest to pay for that trip. Fine. We'll go here. It'll cost you 50 heart points to plot a course to Soggy Scary. Is that okay with you? Yes, Captain Brambeer, that's quite okay. You can now travel to Soggy Scary. There she blows. Now you can set sail for Soggy Scary anytime you like. Well, that's nice. Thank you, sir. There is a baby. Very excited. When you travel between islands, your save data will be overridden and your autosave will be deleted. Please do not exit the game or turn off the system until you reach your destination. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. <laughs> Captain Brownbird says, all aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. And of course, Malroth goes sits on the front there. The bow? I'm not a sailor. I believe that's the bow. Oh, that's a pretty neat mountain there. Oh, here we are. Explorer Shores. Soggy scary. It's raining. Say ahoy to explore shores, says Captain Brownbeard. There's all kinds of fancy materials on this island. Be sure to examine anything you happen to find, check it out, and check it off the list. I told you about the little lists I shoehorned together, right? 
Well, now they're yours. If you tick the items off as you examine them, then you'll know when you've seen them all. And don't worry. I can ferry, ferry whatever you find back to the Isle of Awakening. The sea's laden here as calm as a sea cucumber, so there's no risk of anything going over plank. But what are you waiting for? Climb up this little crop top and use your windbreaker to glide on over to the main island. You can warp back here whenever you like. Okay, Captain Brownbeard, we'll see you in a little bit. Each of the Explorer Shores has its own unique sights to see and items to discover. If you complete an island's checklist, you'll get a special bonus. An unlimited supply of useful material. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, let's see if we can find all of these things. I don't really see any of those... Maybe those blocks. No. All right, well, that's where we're going. Oh, there's a tree stump. I'm going to just take this tree right now. Okay. Not what we needed. Let's go. I guess I should have picked up the tree stump, right? Hey, what, Malra? Oh, is it just when I... S Ooh. Are these zombies gonna fight me? Ah, tax now lives... Oh, ow! That was a bad, bad choice, zombie. So we'll know, we just have to check it. Oh, yeah. Withered tree off the list. Oh, this is a, a neat little game. That guy's got a lot of health. But then not a whole lot of damage. Oh, that's a angry looking tree. That's okay, we got it. I'm sorry, sir. You're going to have to stop spinning at me. That's very rude. Alright. Let's continue on. Get some sugar cane here. Here's a... Can I, do I need to check this? I mean, it looks like something I need to check. Let's see if they're on my list. Fiddle. What is it? Let's take this. Oh, it's just... Okay. I don't need to even bother with them, Malroth. Come on. Aha. Plumberry stump off the list. See, I thought we needed to break things. We just have to run up to it and more or less talk to it. Yay! Need to find an acorn. Look, I need you all to drop an acorn. Is that how this works? You drop acorns? No? This is one. Oh, angry tree. My damage to this tree is not great. However, the big damage critical attacks pretty good. Oh, I feel a lot hungry. Oh my goodness, why did you do that? I'm tired. Way to go, Malroth. Hey, I got... Let's put one of these on the ground here. Can I drop one? Hmm. How am I supposed to examine that, you think? Yay! How do I get up to the... Oh, there's one. Okay. first person view and look at this acorn. I don't I don't need you to break it now, Roth. I need you to break him. Good. Continue. Okay. 
Check. Got acorn. Got it. Oh, break this. And then, now Roth is going to break. Watch, I'm going to check this grass. Or this leaf block off of it. Alright, so let's pick up this acorn. Can I pick up a more? I can. Got us some extra acorns. Alright, so now we need some... Blocky root. Got it. Is there chicken here? Do we know of any chickens? That's not... Oh, that's... It's not right. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Pumpkin? It was. Get that out of here. Get these pumpkin seeds. Sir, I'm going to need you to uh, calm down, sir. Sir. Calm down, please, sir. Let's see if we have anything over here. Vines. We need vines. Nope. There we go. Dry ivy. Done. Ooh, some ants. Ants normally have some seeds. Nope. Nothing this time. That's alright. That is okay. Let's uh, come down here. There is a ch you see what on the list? I just noticed there's a chicken there. We're gonna find a chicken here. We're gonna find a chicken here, friends. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. What's that? I want it. Hydrangea. Ooh. Flower. Did I get it? Nope. That was a bummer. Is there any seaweed? Nope. Not, there are plenty of seaweeds, but I don't need any to identify. I need some thorny vines. Ooh, here we go. Some hummus. Let's take this with us. I don't know what it's for. Let's just take it. What is this stuff? Mossy earth. Ooh. That's real cool looking. Just a scavenger Yay. hunt right now. I'm gonna take this though. Check. Big plum berry off the tree. Okay. Need some moss covered looks rocks there. We already have some wheat. Probably stop harvesting wheat. Oh, look, 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 look. Okay, we gotta pet the chicken like we did the duck. Or the, the duck, the dog. There's an arrow over there, which so will be real quiet. We gotta sneak up on the chicken. I got you, chicken. I befriended it. Chicken joins the party. All right, come on, chicken. Let's go. You know, we're looking for some rocks that are covered in moss. Maybe it's over here. Reeds done. All right, what about this? 
Swampy soil? Done. What about these? This is gonna hurt. Big bramble off the list. Is that a little bramble right here? It is. Quit hurting the chicken. I command you to not hurt the chicken. Okay. It's okay, chicken. I've got food for you. you get hurt. Ooh, what's this? We need uh, some of those. Look at that grass down there in the bottom box. Don't know. Did he just bring... He called in another zombie? Oh, big hits. It's taking so long now, right? Oh, I hear another chicken. Or was that the same chicken? Nope. The hydrangeas do not want to come with me. And that's okay. I don't blame them. They're happy where they are. I'm just gonna run. Oh, look. There, there's that rock. Mossy stones. Okay. We just need a big one now. Oh, look! It's a big old kitty. There's a, mo a big old mossy stone right there. We're getting closer to getting done. Okay, so we're almost done with the mossy... Oh, there's that grass. Okay. Now we just need some withered. Just need some mossy. Big stone. Let's see here. I'm just withered grass. Hmm, a tree branch. Big old boy. Let's go see what that kitty can do. Oh, look, there's another chicken. How dangerous are you, big kitty? How dangerous are you? Come get me. Ooh, big hits. Oh, you're not too big. You're not too big, are you, big kitty? I do believe we're gonna beat you. Get out of there. Ooh. Let him come out here, Mauro. Let him come over here. Let's run away. Let's run way over here. Come on, Malra. Make him come all the way over here. We can't fight him in that water. Just go to sleep. Super strong. He's not super strong. One, he's stuck. That's the first time you hit me. That's okay. I'll just sit here. Oh, I'm not going to sit through that one, though. Finally! Oh, 
Do not hit the chicken. Oh, oh, oh. Let's eat some kelp. Wonder what treasure he's gonna give us, because he's about done. Oh, this needle is tearing him up. So many crits. Whoop, get out of there. Press the wrong button to attack. Could have got a few more hits in. He's almost done. He can't hurt you now, Roth. to this guy. Great Saber Cat statue. Okay. Trick to this guy is just kind of get him stuck in that water and he just hangs out there and doesn't do anything ever. Oh, there's a chicken. I'm just gonna go real slow. Get another one. I'm friendly. I'm not bothering you, chicken. Not bothering you, chicken. <laughs> Got another one. Two chickens. The thing about the zombies is they kind of stop moving after you beat them down. Or after you start whipping them. They're kind of just like, I'm done. What are these? Robert gets seed. I don't know what that is. We're gonna find out though. Oh, I'm sorry, chicken. I apologize, chicken. Still missing a few. Oh. Where was it? There it is. Blocky buttress root. Okay. Got it. We've gone over this way. The map's not filled in. Leave us alone, trees. One well, doesn't want one of these trees over here. Is it one of these limbs? No, we still need one of these, uh... Uh, roots or a limb coming out of the ground? I don't know. It's a little gnarly. Ooh, that's, uh... That's the key. We need a withered plant. Let's go over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, nothing here. Put more of the same. This is something. What is this? Pestilential nest. Can I bring it with me? No, I cannot. Probably something I don't want to bring with me anyways, but you know, who knows? Is this tree? Is this tree something? No. Hello, chickens. Come on. Oh, look, another chicken. Gotta go slow. I bet you we'll find some withered plants here in the spoiled soil. Got him. Three chickens. Run! 
What? I thought I befriended it. It's okay, chicken. Oh, I didn't I didn't press the button. I thought I did. All right, three chickens. have one of those. Look right here. Got it. An infinite supply of dry grass. I think we got the bottom one. All right. Hey, we got the bottom one, so we're nearly done. Let's just find the top one and then we'll get out of here because we got our chickens. Guessing what it means is like it kind of goes by zones. Where's the chicken? I didn't see him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Look how many chickens I got. So many chickens. I need a green tree, I guess. Some kind of... What kind of butterfly looking thing? I don't even know what that is. I need one of these, but it needs to have leaves coming out of it. No, I don't want any. Is it this? Oh, I, sh I guess I shouldn't have taken that. Should have checked it first. That was my fault. I'm gonna take those seeds though. Alright, now I just need a tree and a root. So it's not gonna be these big trees. What does it look like? It's like a bush almost. That one over there maybe. one? Ah, it was this one. Plumberry tree. Okay. Goodness gracious, my Ralph. So strong. Now, I need... Is it... It's not going to be driftwood, I don't think. You see, it's got leaves. Nothing in there. This one's hard. It's the very last one we need. Oh no, I need a yellow tree too. This yellow tree? It is this yellow tree. Okay. Yay! We just need one root looking piece. With grass coming out, or with leaves coming out of it. Just gonna run around. Maybe we'll happen to spy one. Eat some kelp. Hop. Okay. It's not gonna be that. See, there's no leaves coming out of that. Not this. Any wood in the bog, maybe? No, but maybe maybe these trees. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I didn't say check. What does it say? Did it say talk? I think it just said talk. Maybe if there are any sticks coming out of the ground here, a bunch of dirty hands. Go wash yourselves, hands. You're filthy. Hmm. <gasps> we got. Oh, look. We'll have so many chickens. Be calm. Oh, yeah. Chicken, my friend. All the chickens are my friends. Wish it would show me, maybe. Where those particular items could be found. That would be real nice. I guess that would be cheating, right? It could be one of those. I don't think I don't think it's gonna be I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. Yeah, it's not any of these. I wonder if it's up in the big trees at the beginning of the island. Alright, let's go. I might have to climb up in a tree. I mean I had to climb up in a tree, right, to get those pieces anyways. chickens are keeping up. Wow, that's a lot of them. It's gonna be great. Everybody's gonna be so happy. They better be. This is how it starts. Just a few seeds. You know what? That's what it was. It wasn't so. I was looking for something coming out of the ground, but it looks like it's a big old branch. Let's get right up there to it. Check. Got it. Infinite supply of wood. Oh, that was worth it. All right, let's get, let's get out of here. We're gonna land, and then we're gonna, we're gonna land. We're gonna teleport right back to the landing point. We're gonna teleport right back to the dock. I mean. We're going to talk to Brownbeard. The explorer shores are mystical lands that shift and change every night. If you left something behind, it won't be here when you come back. Are you sure you want to return to Isle of Awakening? Yes, let's go back. It's okay we leave that big uh, orc there. That's fine. All aboard for trip abroad. Time to set sail. I'm going to go back home and drop off these chickens. Look at all those chickens. The chicken heads for Green Garden. We're back. I've got to say that is one obedient chicken. Let's go show Perry, said Maura. While ye lot take care of business here, I'll haul sail and keep me eyebrows peeled for more islands, said Captain Brownbeard. I've heard rumbling of another enormous one lurking out there in the open seas, same size as Furrowfield give or take a fathom. 
I'm as certain as pirates hate body parts that come in pairs that the place is inhabited. Maybe you can find some new mates and materials there. Another island like Furrowfield? Asks my rock. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be the start of a whole new adventure. I can't wait to check it out. Captain Brownbeard says, Give me a knees up when you're ready to set sail. I'm always anchored here, except when I'm not. What's that rumbling sound? Asks Maroth. It's Perry's tummy. <laughs> well, look who it is, says Maroth. Perry's come to check if we found the fowl. Fowl means bird. Let's show him the chicken and rub it in his face. You, will you bring me a chicken, will you? Asks Perry. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to come back, Snail. Did you bring me a cute little chicken, did you? She's blimmin' adorable. Once that girl starts laying eggs, we won't have to eat cabbages no more. By the way, did Brownbeard tell you about that girt liquor of an island he's looking out for on the ocean? Well, I reckon I might know something about it. I remember hearing about this one place that was famous for mining metal right out the ground. A long time ago, the people of Furrowfield used to trade with them folk, swapping veggies for metal and whatnot, until the children of Argon made us put a stop to it. I ain't never seen no metal with me old pepper peepers. I'd love to visit that island one day and see what the place is like. Oh, snail, I nearly forgot, said Captain Brownbeard. A letter came for you. Have you read it already? I might look at it like a sea slug bed, but I keep myself busy every day exploring the local waters I brought that letter back with me on my last bon voyage and here I was thinking you'd rather stay old up on your ship than exchange a single word with a landlubber you're actually a word exchanger extraordinaire said Perry hmm. well snail the captain went to a lot of trouble to deliver a letter ain't you gonna check out the post box if it's important news I'm sure the others will want to hear it is it the saffron letter or another one it's the saffron letter we read that one that's good all right. Hurry, chickens. Everyone's starving. We'll just teleport. Warp to the Green Gardens. Yes. Don't worry, everyone. The chickens are on the way. Rosie says, Yoo-hoo, snail. While you're away, we finished clearing the dirt out of the way. Now the water can run all the way into the pond, just like we planned. The canal is complete. You should run along and find Lulu. She's desperate to speak with you. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm here, Lulu. What's up? Snail, Malroth, you're back, says Lulu. As you can see, we cleared a path for the river while you two were off adventuring. All we, now, all we need now is some water. Ah, Snail. Bonanzo says, just the gentleman I was looking for. Here are the chickens. I bring good tidings. Upon further inspection of that intriguing area I mentioned, I stumbled upon a way to make our river even more impressive. However, I'll only reveal my ingenious plan once your little lake project is complete. Bwah ha ha ha. It's almost time to pour the final piece of the puzzle into place. Let's go, 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 said Rosie. Everybody's high-fiving. Oh, there's a new letter. What's up, Rosie? Now that we've cleared a path for the river, it's up to you to work your watery magic. You know the drill. We'll stand in places we need you to pour the water. That means all you need to do is tip that bottomless pot out and fill the riverbed. Well, let's see if there's any dirty soil that I need to pick up. Looks okay. Okay. Up, 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 up. Pour this water out. go. Starting something. Oh, there it goes. Look. Cascading down. Gonna add extra up here to the top. Gonna make sure we get plenty here. There we go. What 
to fill this area. I guess I'll add it right there. There we go. Some river rapids. Oh. Wow, snail, said Rosie. This is brilliant. Not only do we have a long and winding river, but a lovely pond, too. Uh-oh, baby is tired. It is time for bed. I will be right back. I'm going to get her ready. And we'll see what Rosie wants when we finish this up. I will be right back. Oops, you don't want to put that there.
Okay. I'm back. Back in the squeaky chair here. Let's uh, go ahead and... Wrong button. Pick that up. Okay. And... Go ahead and pull this water back out. Look at this. What a nice little pond we have. Alright, Rosie. Talk to me. Brilliant work, Snail. This place was once a barren badland without a drop of water in sight. But just look at the place now. We got a river. Look at it winding its way through. Got some grass in the middle of there. It's pretty neat. Seeing all that stunning scenery leaves me practically breathless. Isn't nature wonderful, says Rosie. It's blooming beautiful. Do you know what the best thing about it is, asks Perry. We built all of it together. I feel so proud, I think I might cry. Bonanzo laughs. Save your tears for later, Perry, my lad. We're far from finished. I'll have you know I have a monumental plan to transform this tiny trickle into a tumultuous torrent. Uh, we don't need it to be a torrent, Bonanzo. The time has come to put the findings of my investigation to good use and make our river bigger and better than ever before, says Bonanzo. Lulu says, get on with it then. You've been going on about this plan for ages. It is high time you put your money where your mouth is, says Lulu. Bonanzo says, hi is the operative word, my dear. Come one. Come all to the top of the cliff after me, snail. Okay, well, let's go. Show me, Bonanzo. Hustle. Hustle, Bonanzo. Come on. Bonanzo's slow. What's up, Bonanzo? You got nothing this ninja turtle suit makes me a ninja yeah we're here Bonanzo my painstaking investigations lead me to believe that a river once ran here too do you see the remains of the riverbed of course I deduce that the stream that flowed here once upon a time ran all the way to the pond at the base of these bluffs if we could recreate the river old, why this scenery would become an order of magnitude more magnificent. Okay. So do you want me to start pouring? Do you see how the riverbed snakes its way downhill between the rocks? That is where our second river shall run. The others will show you where the water must be poured. You have merely to tip your bottomless pot out in the proper position. Come, snail, my boy. Let the river revitaliz revitalization commence, says Bonanzo. Well, let's go. Here comes water. Oh, I learned a new recipe. Yay! Filter fountain. An instrument that redirects water to rain down from above. Placing water to activate. have it cascading down there too. I mean, why not? See, oh, the seat? Look at that. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go down here. Alright, Rosie. Pour water. Port right on Perry. Bad, bad ant. All right, Lulu, here comes the water. We don't want that rock there. Jolly good show, snail, my boy, says Bonanza. The river flows swift and true once more. Hang on. We seem to have encountered a little hitch, said Lulu. Look at them hearts. 
that Bonanzo chap needs to adjust his attitude. Why does he think he's so much better than everyone else? Do beards do that to people? Asks Lulu. Gotta break this rock first, Bonanzo. Can't have rocks. There we go. Thanks to you and your magical pot, the river has been restored to its former glory, said Bonanzo. But Bonanzo, haven't you noticed? Asked Lulu. The river of yours seems to have hit a rather dead end. I thought you said it was supposed to empty out into the pond. Hmm. Bonanzo says, when is a wall not a wall, my friend? When it's a tunnel, we merely have to dig out the earth and the river shall flow all the way through to the pond. We can do it, says Rosie. After all the work we did on the other river, we're excavation experts now. Indeed, replies Bonanzo. Excavating a canal is precisely the same as excavating a tunnel. It is entirely, exactly identical in every conceivable way. Except one. During my inspection, continued Bonanzo, I heard ominous gurgling noises coming from within the rock. It could signal danger. Danger? Asked Lulu. I know a boy who simply loves a bit of unnecessary risks. <laughs> I knew she was going to call Malroth. Look, Malroth, Malroth, danger, danger. Did someone say danger? Asked Malroth. I love a bit of unnecessary risk. Something very dangerous might be about to happen. So who better to lead the way but you? Snail's going to dig a tunnel and he needs your help, says Lulu. Bonanzo replies, you have a plan for every occasion, Lulu. Right then, Snail, Malroth, you may begin whenever you are ready. Go forth, my friends. Break through the earth and link this river to the lake below. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, smash. 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 Aha, says Bonanzo. I think we've just discovered the source of those sinister gurgling noises. There's water trapped within the earth. Well, that puts my mind at ease. I fear we might encounter monsters. Silly me. You may proceed with the excavation at your leisure, says Bonanzo. There's some water coming up there. Coming from up there. Uh oh. Getting this rock now. We'll go this way. We're still yeah, we're good this way. Whoa! Some Where did these gunky good for nothing comes from? Egaz, the gurgle was made by water. It was the fault of all these foul fiends all along, screamed Bonanzo. What are they all doing in here? Well, whatever their reason, we need to get rid of these slimy, slug, sharpish. Quick, because I'm literally right in the middle of all of them. Okay, good job, team. The Murlusks, the Murlusks are defeated. High five, Malra. Dig, 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 let's go. going. Hey, look, more water. You can see where we are on the map. We're about to hit this other uh, part of the river that we made. This is just a little bit dangerous because there's a mountain on top of us. Wasn't, you didn't let me hit the last part. Perry says, would you look at that? We got ourselves our very own waterfall. There we go. Now we're good. What is Bonanzo needs to speak? Bonanzo laughs. We did it, Snail. The rivers have reunited and it feels so good. And I want to see these falls in all their glory. Let us descend and enjoy the view with the others. Okay. Fall down the the waterfall. Got it. Whee! Good job.
shall we even get up there? Oh. There's ants in here. How on earth did y'all get up there? There's a vine right here. Perry says the new river is brilliant. You really know how to make splash snow. Indeed, said Lulu. These waterways have really blown my expectations out of the water. Hang on, said Malroth. I'm sensing a strange aura and it's moving sideways. Over there. Hmm. Ooh. Why, crabs! Icky, yucky, mucky crabs, screams Lulu. Thought they'd come and cool off in our new pool, did they? said Meryl. Asks Malroth. Careful, snail. Don't let them get you in, your, in a pincer attack. Oh, stop waffling and get rid of them, will you? Lulu says. I demand steamed crab claws for my supper. Deal. Take care of the babies. Here, Brittany, get on the big one. Big damage. Yeah. Easy. The monsters are defeated. High five, Malroth. Snail, Malroth, calls out Rosie. Thanks for taking care of those pesky crustaceans. I wonder what put them in such a crabby mood, though, asked Perry. Don't look at me like that. It was a joke, all right? So it wasn't my best. Maybe I was clutching at claws if I thought that was funny. Rosie sighs. Yes, well, in more important matters, there are a lot of wild monsters here, aren't there? Slimes, iron ants, murlusks, the list goes on. They do not seem to be affiliated with the children of Hargon, says Bonenzo, yet they pose a threat nonetheless. We must remain vigilant. Luckily, we have Malroth to protect us. Without you, we would be crab food, quite literally. You may not be born a builder, but your martial prowess is beyond reproach. Huh? Malroth is surprised and says, Me? Protect you? I don't think so. I only look out for my friends, and I don't make friends with bearded bumpkins. Let's not fight, you two, says Rosie. Let's get back to ama at admiring our amazing river. Look at it. I did that. All by myself. No help. Mm -mm, no one helped, man. Just kidding. That slime's up there. He's going to sleep up there forever. And we'd never have done it without you and your magic pot, Snail. And my expert guidance, of course, said Bonanzo. Thanks to my thorough investigation, we now have not one mighty river, but two. Maybe it was that cabbage-encrusted soup strainer of yours, but I was more than a little wary of you at first, Bonanzo, said Lulu. Perhaps you're not so bad after all. But this is just the start, screams Rosie. Seeing all the water around makes me want to build some new fields and farmhouses to make use of it. I know who can take care of that, said Lulu. Snail, the crown builder of Lulu Topio and nature maker extraordinaire. Job complete. Oh, I have me an idea. A rubber ring, an inflatable instrument that will help keep your head above water. Make a river tablet target complete. Oh. Here's a hermit. Harry Hermit came out, came out of nowhere and said, Ho, ho, ho. Another challenge complete, I see. Crack, cracking job, tactical snail. Well, would you look, well, look at that. It's a mini metal. Yay! I acquired a mini metal. Bye-bye for now. We have our rivers, meadows, and a wood said Lulu. Well, I think this means we've completed all three of the challenges from the tablet. Ugh, says Malroth. Is something the matter, Malroth? asked Lulu. Aren't you happy that we were able to complete the tasks? No, it's not that, replies Malroth. It's just... It's just that I'm getting this funny feeling in the pit of my stomach. What's happening? You all right? asked Perry. You ain't feeling all upset because you can't 
make nothing, are you? Rosie begins to clap, says, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it soon, my Roth. After all, you've got Snail to show you the ropes. Just look at what he helped us create. Have you checked your map recently, Snail? I think a bird's eye view of our surroundings would really hammer home just how much things have changed. We know full well that you were a wizard at a workbench, said Bonanzo, but we never knew you were a worker of natural wonders as well. I am so proud of you. As your no, no elder brother figure, I cannot help but bask in your reflected glory, exclaims Bonanzo. Yeah, man, let's keep the glory coming, said Brittany. Even though we made all this legit nature and stuff, I still want to make more. Little Lillian says, Meadows and woods are all well and good, but if we want to make this place truly special, we should think about branching out. That's a cracking idea, says Perry. Idea? I reckon it's high time to head off to that island and hunt for a few new mates and materials. First things first, says Lulu. Perry, now that we've completed every target on the tablet, we should take another look at it and see what it has to say. Okay, to the tablet. Which is relatively close. You want to float over? <laughs> All right, tablet targets complete. Good job, team. Get back. I feel a powerful force emanating from the tablet. Congratulations, Snail. I don't know what the tablet's done to you, but you look a little taller, says Lulu. Ho, 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 said Harry Hermit. You certainly smashed those challenges. As I explained before, these tablets are the last creations of the legendary builder who once made this place his home. Its magic will transform your thoughts into targets, challenges that you must master if you want to grow as a build, build, builder. My lord and master, hear me. Who is this voice? Huh? Malroth asks, Snail, did you just say something? Hear me, Malroth. Hear me, O oh mighty master of destruction. Who is this? What do you want? asks Malroth. As the Builder's powers of creation grow, so too will your powers of destruction. I can't make this go faster. It's stuck in a very slow speed. You have probably read this five times by now. Six times. Look. I don't know who the heck you are, or what the heck you are talking about, but you know you feel it. When you witness great deeds of creation, a fearsome force stirs within you. Okay. Still waiting. Go. Oh, continue, please. Uh, says Mara. Oh, he went Goku. Malroth becomes stronger. Magnificent. Use that power. Help the builder to fulfill his aims. Why won't you tell me who you are, Malroth? Malroth calls out. I am the creator of this world, your most faithful servant, and your dearest friend. Okay. 
O mighty Mauroth, master of destruction, I await the day you awaken once more. You can't hear it, but I'm pushing all of the buttons on the controller. Are you all right? asked Lulu. Who in the world are you talking to? I don't know, but, but who cares? All I know is that I feel stronger than ever. So anyone who stands in Snail's way better watch out. Most reassuring, Bonanzo says. I have the utmost confidence in you, Malroth, and that you'll protect him to do the best of your ability. Snail, come up to the temple when you have a moment to spare. There's a little side project I'd like you to have a crack, crack, crack at. Okay, Harry Hermit, I'll head up there. As for us former furrow fielders, said Bonanzo, we're rather taken by this lovely area of land. It, it, it quite reminds us of home. We've decided to move in permanently. Oh, yes, says Rosie. It's the perfect place to start a farm. Just imagine this whole place filled with fields and farmyards. My agricultural imagination is running wild. And I want to start cooking again, says Lillian. I shall need an even bigger and better kitchen than the one you built for my sister on Furrowfield. Bwah ha ha, laughs Bonanzo. It would seem your work is not done yet. I trust we can rely on you for all our building needs, Snail. Yeah. Alright. Everybody cheers. Alright. Tablet targets completed. Harry Hermit shows up again. He just left, said, hey, come out and visit just a second. Just, bam, out of here, and now he's back. And he says, hmm? Is something the matter, Snail? Wait, don't, don't tell me. You want to stick around here a little longer and build the place up? Hmm, I should have never assumed otherwise. You truly are a builder to the very core, core, core. In that case, check, check, check the stone tablet again. You may be in for a little treat. Well, look how Malroth has reached Super Saiyan levels. I think we'll call it here. Everybody's kind of tired. Malroth went to go fight some ants. Oh, 66 damage. Yep. Oh, Wrigley's asleep. Brittany's fighting a ghost. Oh, Brittany's going to need help with the ghost. Again. So I think this is a good place to call it and go to bed for the night. Remember, you know, get some sleep, wake up tomorrow, and have an adventure of your own. Okay? Good night.